Dr. Mark Changizi here with your Science Moment. Today I'm going to talk about free markets and free expression and a kind of absurdity that I've been noticing off and on concerning censorship on places like Twitter and YouTube and uh, Facebook and so on. And, uh, you know, this week we've got Elon Musk. He is uh, he's taking over and making a lot of changes uh, to Twitter. And much of the left on Twitter is uh, freaking out, uh, trying to decide whether they're going to remain in the public square where their opposition is allowed to speak or whether they'll leave Twitter altogether. And uh, that's, you know, just, just tons and tons of noise in this regard. Many have actually already left. Whoopi Goldberg, for example, left Twitter. There's a whole bunch of others that have left Twitter um, because apparently it's fascist to be in a place where free expression is allowed. Now, uh, the point that I wanted to make, and it's a simple one, and it concerns the notion of having a social network, having a public square, having a place for the f uh, marketplace of ideas, one that is under centralized fact checker control. That is, you have a public square governed by centralized fact checkers. Now, if that doesn't seem bizarre and contradictory to you, let's say it in another analogous way, but, in reg in, but instead of it being in regards to free expression, consider it to be in regards to economics into economics, into freely selling and, and your goods as you wish. In the free market, uh, you would never say, oh, well, I believe in free markets. I just believe in centrally planned free markets, right? Now, centrally planned free markets aren't free markets. It would entirely defeat the purpose of, of having a free market to centrally plan one, to centrally direct one. The reason that free markets work is because they're decentralized and all of these competitive emergent things occur that creates amazing products at good prices and the prices themselves are inherently distributed throughout the network, something no centralized committee or group or algorithm can or ever should decide. Not, you know, I'm setting aside even the civil liberties part of it that because there's no centralized um, algorithms or, or group which is allowed ethically to do it. That would be violating our civil, civil liberties. But I focus more, more on the utilitarian side. It undermines completely the very notion of a free market to have centralized planners. It is a contradiction to say centrally planned free market. It is no less a contradiction to say we are going to have a fact checked public square. The public square is the free market of ideas. The whole point is to have open and free expression to be, be, for people to be able to debate and discuss in parallel. And this happens times trillions with all these pairwise arguments and discussions. And the benefits of this are that by virtue of these reputations changing over time and these massive complicated networks, um, the truth is slowly discovered. It is the mechanism by which we find the truth. The free market is the mechanism by which we create wealth and new products and so forth. The free market of ideas, that is the public square, is the mechanism by which we slowly move towards the truth. Having a centrally fact-checked public square or having a centrally fact-checked marketplace of ideas is a contradiction and is just as ridiculous as centrally planned free markets. It makes no sense. One has to completely erase this notion that we have to stop misinformation. We have to guide these networks, these social networks, so that they move towards the truth. No, they're self-guided. And the only thing that you should do is get the F out of the way. Get the centralized fact checkers, get the centralized truth planners out of the way. Now, I think Musk, I have the feeling, cross my fingers, that Musk gets this, uh, and not just implicitly, I think he explicitly gets this, hopefully. So my fingers are crossed that what he does, most of all, is lets it, lets it be free and open and fair and flat and lets 
the marketplace of ideas do as it should all by its own, all on its own, which includes all of these emotionally expressive back and forth negotiations, which leads to reputations being redistributed throughout the networks, which leads to greater and greater uh, truths being discovered. That's how it happens. And that was your science moment. Get yourself a copy of Dr. Tim Barber in my book, Expressly Human, and take a look at our Free Expression Research Institute, the Free Expression Group, freex.group. That was your science moment.